Your Business Podcast with Frank Furness. Hey, this is Frank, and what a year we've had with COVID. But you know, the interesting thing is all of my financial services clients that I speak to and that I work with around the world are all telling me they're having an amazing time. They're able to get through to more clients, speak to more clients and writing more business than they've ever written before. So every cloud has a silver lining. Listen, by now, I hope you've listened to all of the previous episodes on NLP with my great friend Ian Halsell. And what I'm going to be doing now for the next six months is going through my program. In fact, it was a pre-recorded program that I'm going to share with you. It used to be part of a package that I sold for $247, an audio package. It's yours for free. So please tune in every week and listen to a new episode. The true tigers see themselves as business people, rather than salespeople. And whatever they do, they run things as a business. And it doesn't matter if they're working for a direct sales company, working for an IFA, or working for themselves in their own practice. They see themselves as business people, rather than salespeople. They hire the best offices and the best locations, have beautiful furniture, because they realize it's much more cost-effective to have clients coming in to see them rather than for them to go out on the road all the time visiting clients. When the clients come in to see them, they're normally impressed with the offices and the setup. You see, as we know, the average top producer normally has sales or negotiations which are much bigger than the norm because they're working in different markets. They drive the best cars, they wear the best suits, are extremely professional because think about it, How can you expect someone who wants to invest a million pounds or a million dollars with you if you turned up in an old car, wearing a threadbare suit, and making notes with some chewed up old ballpoint pen? The fact of life is that successful people like to do business with like-minded people. I personally have got many clients that are top investment houses in the City of London, and they rank amongst the top investment companies in the world. What's really impressed me is their level of professionalism. It never fails to amaze me. You know, it's as if they've set themselves a standard and they all work very similarly. When I arrive for an appointment, the reception area is clean, professional and luxurious. The receptionist always knows my name. They don't keep me waiting and normally usher me straight through into a boardroom. These boardrooms are beautifully furnished and there's always a tray of refreshments, tea and coffee, biscuits with the finest china on the table. Within a minute or two, the sales director or whoever I'm negotiating with comes into the boardroom and they don't keep me waiting. Now just imagine if this is the way they treat me, can you imagine how they treat the top investors? Imagine a top investor coming in with a million pounds or a million dollars to invest they wouldn't fail to be impressed. Can you imagine them going to some other office, though, where they kept waiting for 20 minutes, desks are piled up with paperwork, and there's a general aura of disorganization? Just think about it. If you were this investor, who would you rather invest with? As I've said, this is what these top producers have realized, and they get the clients coming in to see them. They also realize the importance of having the best staff. Now this point was brought home to me when I came over to London in 1993. As I said, I was fortunate enough to be working with two Tigers, two top, top producers and wonderful people. And there were the three of us out there producing business. But you know what? We had nine administrative and backup staff. We paid them extremely well. And because of this, they were dedicated, loyal And we had almost no staff turnover. They participated in the profits and we were all part of a working team. The Tigers in sales also know the difference between being busy and being effective. They focus on effectiveness and they are master delegators. They live with a dictaphone, handle a piece of paper only once, speed read or scan information and delegate anything that they shouldn't be doing. The important thing here is the people that they've delegated to have been fully trained so they know how the Tigers think, 
how they work and what they expect. As I've said, they pay them well so that they're extremely efficient and the whole business works very, very effectively. When I was at the Tom Hopkins convention a few years ago, there were 800 top salespeople in the course and amongst them were five from the financial services industry. I got to know these people quite well and one of them had just written a bond for $180 million. Can you imagine anyone writing a bond for that size? Well, I've never seen anything so big, so I asked him who he'd written it with. And after telling me the name of the company, I realized that the company also had their whole sales force at the convention. What happened is the next day I had lunch with the sales director of this company, and he confirmed, yes, this chap was one of the top producers in America, and he had actually written this bond. I've got to say I've been keeping contact with him, and the interesting thing is that this producer, although this one deal could have set him up for life, you know, he could almost have retired immediately after writing it. The amazing thing was, his diary was fully booked for the next three months. You see, for the top achievers, it's not just about money. The ultimate accomplishment is joy, growth and enjoying life. It's not only the cash. I once heard a wonderful saying that was, It's not the money that makes a millionaire, it's what the person has become. Tigers are creative thinkers as well. They think very differently to most other people. They're always looking for new avenues, new ways of doing things, and being more creative in seeking the best results. One of the best producers in financial services that I knew in South Africa was an extremely creative thinker. And this is how his day works. First appointment would be at 7.30 in the morning. Now you may be asking, why 7.30? Well, most of his clients were top executives and from 9 o'clock they were either flying all over the world or tied up in meetings all day. At 7.30 they could all meet with him. His next appointment was at 9.30 and his third appointment at 11.30. This he did five days a week and anyone who has 15 appointments a week in our industry will always be successful. He was a master delegator who passed on all administrative tasks to his extremely efficient staff. Now his next appointment during his working day was a lunchtime appointment and every day he would take one of his clients out to lunch. They'd either be having a birthday or celebrating some or other occasion but there was one proviso to this lunch. This client had to bring another potential client with him to the lunch. As you can imagine all of these people were top executives so he'd be socializing with them for one and a half hours and then they'd return to work at about 2.30. Now comes the best part. Three o'clock every afternoon was golf time. And every day he would play golf with another of his clients who had a birthday. Once again, on the proviso that they brought with another two potential clients to make up the four ball. Can you imagine at the end of each day he had seen, mixed and socialized with three new people. He didn't have to do any prospecting because they would normally end up as appointments in his diary and because he was working in a market with top achievers, he was always being referred to other top achievers. <laughs> Isn't this a creative way of working? Can you imagine having lunch out every day, playing golf every weekday of your life and on top of that, earning a lot of money? What a lifestyle. The Tigers in sales are also master prospectors and they've got a wonderful referral system. They're unafraid to ask for referrals from each and every person they see, develop good centers of influence, and they're very socially mobile. When I was doing some work recently with a company in Hong Kong, I was fortunate enough to be invited out to a number of prestigious social occasions. One of these occasions in the evening, I saw a middle-aged chap who was always laughing, enthusiastic, and he just seemed to know everybody in the upper Hong Kong society. On Friday morning I was running a course for one of the top financial services companies and there he was, sitting in the front row. I met up with him afterwards and it turns out that he's one of the real tigers in our industry, earning an absolute fortune and doing it all by being socially mobile and being seen in the right circles. You see, the thing about tigers is they mix with the type of people that they like to work with. Another top person I know works only with millionaires. This is his target market. 
He's only been in financial services for four years, but he's already one of the top achievers in our industry. He lives in the best area, has a chauffeur-driven limousine that takes him to all of his appointments, and he belongs to all of the right clubs and societies where the millionaires hang out. You see, these people realize that most top businessmen will only trust and buy from people in their own social circles. Another top achiever that I know in Asia works mostly with top barristers. He has earned himself a reputation of being a specialist amongst barristers. And as you can imagine, these people earn huge amounts of money and everybody gets referred to him. 99% of his work is done on referrals. Another top achiever that I work with has realized the importance of working and mixing with the right target market. Now he's a graduate of the Sandhurst Military Academy in the UK and runs his business with the working habits and discipline that he's learnt in the army. He's an excellent polo player and once a year he imports talent from South America to form part of his polo team. Then he sponsors a polo tournament down in Spain. You know this costs him around a half a million pounds or three quarters of a million dollars. But then for the next ten days... He's socializing with other top polo players, Prince Charles being amongst them. One thing that polo players have in common is that they're all extremely wealthy, or 90% of them are extremely wealthy, and nobody else works this target market. The business he writes as a result of this tournament each year normally gives him a tenfold return on his investment. He's working a market that no one else is touching. Yes, it's me back again, Frank. I'm your sponsor and uh, I want to tell you about a series I've put together. It's actually been two years in the making. I have created the biggest online course for financial advisors. If you go and take a look at www.salesstrategiesforadvisors.com, salesstrategiesforadvisors.com, Please go and take a look at our sales page there. You'll see the course has 281 videos, 106 audios, 12 ebooks, and 7 sets of scripts. And I promise you, you will make 10 times your investment at least in this course. There are so many ideas, every kind of strategy you can think of, new things added all the time. And for actually listening to the podcast, you can actually get 50% off the course. Please don't tell anyone about it. But if you go in to the checkout where it says coupon code, all you do is type in 50OFF, 50 off, and you will immediately get a 50% off the course on the one-off payment. Or of course, you can opt to pay $29 a month. So hey, this is Frank. I look forward to seeing you the other side and enjoy my online course.